look who's making waves. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 candies that don't exist anymore. I get angry just thinking about it makes me mad. For this list, we'll be looking at the best candies, chocolate bars, confections, and gums that have been taken off the market. Do you miss any of these candies? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Space Dust Cosmic Candy. Introduced back in 1976, Pop Rocks are known for their fizzing effect inside of the mouth. Introducing Pop Rocks Cracklin' Candy. They'll burst all over your mouth in cherry, grape, and orange. Naturally, a knockoff version was released shortly after it came to market, called Space Dust. It came in powdered form rather than Pop Rocks' more crystallized version. Space Dust? It was also sold in some eye-popping psychedelic packages that bordered on the nightmarish. However, parents were concerned that Space Dust was too similar in name and texture to Angel Dust, which is the street name for PCP. Angel Dust. Embrace the night. General Foods changed the name to Cosmic Candy in an attempt to disassociate itself from the harmful drug, but the damage was done. Nasty rumors circulated, sales plummeted, and General Foods was eventually forced to pull it from shelves. Number 9. Slowpoke Caramel Pop Candy was of a completely different variety back in the day. Introduced in 1926, the Slowpoke Caramel Pop was exactly what it sounds like, a slab of hard caramel on a stick. These suckers, no pun intended, lasted forever, so you definitely got your money's worth. Then again, we can't imagine that sucking on the same piece of caramel for hours on end would get pretty boring. Tastes changed over time, and kids of later generations didn't find much enjoyment with an old-fashioned brick of caramel when more modern and exciting options existed. The original lollipop version has long been discontinued, but you can still find the Slowpoke brand in bulk candy and bar form. Number 8. Sugar-Free Haribo Gummy Bears German company Haribo released the world's first gummy bear in 1960, and it has since become one of the most widespread and popular candies in the world. I can't stop eating this orange one. The red one is more good to me because it tastes like berries. Wishing to be a little more health conscious, Haribo released a sugar-free version of their famous gummy bear and a not-so-metaphorical flood of consequences. You see, Haribo pumped the candy with a sugar alcohol called Molotol. Unfortunately, sugar alcohols are well known for wrecking havoc on the human digestive tract, resulting in all sorts of nasty and unpleasant side effects. The infamous Amazon reviews will give you all the graphic details. Perhaps fearing the bad press, Haribo discontinued the cleanser. Sorry, the candy. Number 7. Jolly Rancher Fire Sticks Jolly Rancher is one of the leading names in hard candy, although the company has branched out to include the likes of jelly beans and gummies. <laughs> The original Jolly Ranchers came in just three flavors, apple, watermelon, and something called fire sticks. This was essentially a stick of cinnamon taffy, and it was quite popular throughout the 50s and 60s when the Jolly Rancher brand was expanding in the American West. However, fire sticks was eventually left behind as the company blew up and introduced more popular flavors like lemon, cherry, and grape. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. You can still find the cinnamon fire flavor today, but the sticks iteration has long been discontinued. Number 6. Mr. T Gold Chain Bubblegum Mr. T was an enormously popular celebrity in the 1980s, known for acting in The A-Team and Rocky III. No, I don't hate Balboa, but I pity the fool. He also had a very distinctive look, which included a large amount of expensive gold jewelry. When I was little, I used to adore gold. It was something special. Naturally, candy companies hoped to profit off the actor's name and iconic appearance, resulting in Amaral's Mr. T Gold Chain Bubblegum. As you can probably guess, this was a gold-colored chain of gum that could actually wrap around your neck. The product was released at the height of Mr. T mania in 1985, but celebrities come and go, and Mr. T's extraordinary popularity did not last long. Neither did his gum. Sometimes life gives you a bad fortune, but you can't let it get you down. You just keep pushing, and everything will turn out just fine. Take it from me, Mr. T. Number 5. Hershey's Swoops Even the heavyweights stumble every now and then. The Hershey Company is arguably the biggest name in the candy business, with nearly $9 billion in revenue in 2021. 
yet their swoops were a complete swing and a miss. Irresistible curves that are bending the rules on how to eat chocolate. These were essentially little chocolate potato chips that came in a variety of flavors, including basic milk chocolate, Reese's peanut butter, and York peppermint patty. Chocolatey curves that'll swoop you away. But Hershey failed to market the chocolate chips correctly, and according to one market study, only a small minority of Hershey's customers even knew that they existed. Not surprisingly, Swoops was discontinued just three years after they debuted. Number 4. Bonkers Introduced in the mid-80s, Bonkers was a Nabisco fruit chew consisting of a tangy filling surrounded by a gummy coating. They came in all of the popular flavors, including apple, lemon, and strawberry, and even a few interesting ones that took advantage of the coating filling dynamic, like vanilla peach and peach apricot. Perhaps even more famous than the candy itself, were its commercials. So super fruity when you eat bonkers fruit candy. Featuring high energy, giant pieces of falling fruit, and lots of silly giggling, the commercials were a huge hit and a genius piece of marketing. In fact, they were pretty much the only thing keeping bonkers afloat. Bonkers, bonks you out. Some candy! <laughs> Once they stopped, the candy faded into obscurity and was eventually pulled from distribution. Makes me wanna eat it up. Number 3. Bubble Beepers Now a mostly forgotten and antiquated piece of technology, beepers were all the rage in the 1990s. While most kids didn't own real beepers, they still wanted to appear hip. What? You think I'm gonna crank call you? For emergencies only, okay? Enter Bubble Beepers. These were individual sticks of bubble gum that came in a brightly lit neon package, resembling an electronic beeper. The candy earned a small amount of controversy, According to one DEA agent interviewed for the Philadelphia Daily News, people wearing these fake beepers could be mistaken for drug dealers, as beepers are widely used in street distribution. Maybe that particular association killed the bubble beeper, or maybe it was just the natural decline in the device's popularity. Either way, the bubble beeper eventually went the way of the real thing. Number 2. Lifesavers Holes Holes. More fun than you can ever imagine. We know what you're thinking. Don't regular Lifesavers have holes? Well, yes, but this is its own product. Lifesavers are an incredibly popular hard candy that has been around since 1912. In the early 90s, Lifesavers introduced holes, which is essentially a candy version of donut holes. The unmistakable flavor of Lifesavers candy in unforgettably delicious little bites. Being little circular balls, the concept is that these mini candies were the byproduct of the holes made in regular Lifesavers. Unfortunately, it was marred with the problems from the start, as its plastic packaging caused some children to choke. The candy was recalled and its packaging redesigned, but the confection's life was not saved. The relaunch didn't meet with much success, and Lifesavers holes flatlined for good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Butterfinger BBs And Shirley, mm -hmm. now look at what I've got for you. Known for its association with Shirley Temple and The Simpsons, Butterfinger is one of the most popular chocolate bars in the world, and it has been since its introduction in 1923. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Nearly 70 years later, in 1992, Butterfinger introduced BBs. These were small, bite-sized chocolate bars similar to Whoppers, only, you know, they tasted like Butterfingers. The BBs brand flourished for over a decade before getting discontinued in 2006, and they are clearly missed. The website MASH conducted a study in 2021 and found that Butterfinger BBs were the most missed snack of the 90s. While you can still find the mini and fun-sized iterations, the BBs themselves have slipped through our collective pans like butter. See you later, homeboy! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.